In a video I recently posted titled, How Dangerous is a Rusted Mosin Nagant, I got a huge response on the looks of this rifle. Everybody loved how gorgeous it is. So in this video, I'm going to show you how I made this Mosin Nagant gorgeous. Alright guys, you want to see how I did it? Let's get into it. Now, first let's talk about the reason why I never, I never made sort of a how-to or shop video uh, demonstrating how to refinish this thing. Number one, I'd never done it before and I didn't really want to do a how-to on something I'd never done before. Uh, number two, I didn't think anybody would be really interested in it. You know, I thought it was kind of intuitive. How do you refinish a Mosin Nagant? Well, you sand it and you paint it. It seemed really intuitive. And I didn't think in general people would be all that interested in the shop video. I guess I was wrong because I got a lot of comments saying, hey, show us how you did it or, you know, tell us exactly what paint you used and so on and so forth. So we're going to go over that today talk about what paint I used, how I refinished it, the process of kind of refinishing it, cleaning it up, and uh, all that stuff. We're gonna make it quick though. This is gonna be a short video. All right, number one, the paint that I used. Everybody wants to know, real simple. This is it right here, Rust Oleum Protective Enamel. Okay, oil-based. How did I apply it? This little craft brush right here, or one like it. Pretty sure I threw away the one that I actually used because it was all coated in oil. And if you really want to get the absolute exact same can of paint, there's the UPC. You can probably look it up from that. Any other information is there on the back. Okay, this cost, oh man, a couple of dollars. I want to say it was $5 or less for this. I could be wrong on that. But uh, I bought this initially to paint my front door, which is also black. And... Um, you know, I, I didn't have any other paints around to paint this rifle with, and so I was like, what can I use to paint the rifle? Ended up using that. Ended up loving the way it turned out. Again, so it was kind of an accidental, um, cool thing, I guess, if that's a term. <laughs> anyway, but that's the paint I used. Not initially intended for it, but initially, but I ended up using it, and I liked the way it turned out. Let's see how it held up, though. I'll show you some of the finish, and uh, you can decide for yourself if this is a good paint to use. There's some of it right there, top coat kind of wearing off. I don't know why that's a spot, or a wear spot right there, but clearly it has worn off a little bit right there. Uh, there are a few other spots kind of like that where it's maybe chipped a tiny bit. And I'm giving you guys kind of a close up because I didn't give you that in the previous video. By the way, that's annotated uh, somewhere over here if you want to look at that video and you haven't seen it before. So there will be some little nicks, little chips, spots where you know, maybe the paint didn't stay on all that well, at least the second coat. I did do two coats of it. Um, you know, here and there, right up here for sure. This is where I had to, let's see if I can find it, right there. This is where the rings, I had to push them back from the top all the way back to here. And so they did scrape off sort of the top layer of paint as they were going back. So some of the glossy spots, you know, aren't quite as perfect as they were when I initially did it. There's a little bit of wear there as well. That one chipping all the way down to the wood. So guys, uh, is it the most durable stuff? Nope. Nope, it's not. However, as I mentioned in the video, the reason I didn't do um, kind of a nicer job in refinishing this is because as I began the process of sanding it down, I realized that that barrel was in horrible shape and that this was just not going to be an awesome rifle one way or another. So in order to kind of... I don't know, salvage it. I decided, well, let's make it look kind of cool with some cheap paint that I already have. There's one, another big chip right there. And, um, you know, just do my best with it, but not spend a lot of money on it at all. Because again, rusted out barrel, no point. All right, so some of the other things you want to notice, uh, obviously I polished some of the hardware here. How did I do that? Sanded it down initially, and then used, I have a Dremel here someplace. Used a Dremel with the wire um, attachment, kind of scraped away anything that was remaining, as well as sort of the polishing attachment for areas like that. These rings, I actually took those off completely and uh, polished them individually somewhat with the Dremel, also on my work sharp knife and tool sharpener. Sanded them with the standard sanding belt and then also this polishing belt, which got that nice kind of high gloss sheen that you see right now which looks very cool. It's probably a carbon steel. That's why it was blued initially. So is there a chance that it will rust in a uh, moist environment? Yeah, there is. I live in a dry environment, so I'm not too worried about it. Plus I could always oil it if I did get worried about it. 
Um, other points to talk about. Also, I did, I don't know if I ever pointed that out, but I also did the butt kind of in the same way as I did all the other pieces that I discussed earlier. What did I use to actually sand the rifle down initially to remove the stain and the lacquer that came on it from the factory and the grease and everything else that was on it? I used a combination of 100 grit sandpaper. I think this is 150 grit right here and 400 grit right here to give it a nice finishing kind of polish. I don't know that I needed to use the 400 grit since I was going to paint it. I probably could have gotten away with the 100, 150 and then just gone with the paint job. Might have been fine. Actually, the paint might have adhered to it better with that more of a rough surface. Don't know. But uh, this is what I got, and that's uh, kind of how it was done. So, guys, that is how the gorgeous Executioner Nagant was created. I hope this video has been helpful to you. This has been Vlog Thursday. I'm the late Boy Scout. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one.